back to another one of my hermit crab related videos on this channel. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video because this video is going to be about 10 things that are really bad for your hermit crabs and you should avoid at all times. This video is a collaboration with Evan Linder. Please go check out her channel. I hope I can uh, link her channel in the description below. Also, I will try to um, link her video in the description as well if I can. All right, guys, please enjoy this video. Bye-bye. All right, number one. So the first thing is critter keepers or wired cages. Critter keepers are really bad because they're made out of plastic and they are just way too small for any hermit crab to live in. And number two is uh, wired cages. Wired cages do not hold humidity and they let all the air out and your hermit crab can suffer from being really cold and die because it has no humidify or humidity to humidify their gills. So that is a reason why you can't have wired cages or critter keepers. All right, number two, gravel or calcium sand. As you can see, I have a mixture of eco earth and play sand, and that is the perfect mixture. They can dig and they won't get cemented like calcium will make your hermit crabs cemented. So calcium sand or colored sand will cement your hermit crab if they dig in it. Hermit crabs dig in sand because they need to molt. They go underground for a couple of weeks and they shed their skin. If they shed their skin and molt in calcium sand, and if the calcium sand is wet, over time the calcium sand will harden and lock your hermit crab underground in the sand and your hermit crab will not be able to get back to the surface and basically they will die underground in that sand. And gravel is bad since it chips their legs and it's really hard rocks. Do not let your hermit crab walk in rocks and they cannot dig in rocks either. It's really bad for their hermit crabs to be in rocks or calcium sand. All right, number three is tap water. Tap water from your sink or refrigerator is really bad for your hermit crab because it has chlorine in it. Chlorine is dangerous for pretty much any animal. Any, I don't even recommend it for humans. So do not get water and put it in your bowl and be lazy and call it a day. Her you need to get up and go to a store and buy bottled water. That's easy as that. And get, or you can get a full gallon of water. And that will last a little longer instead of water bottles. So just get a watered bottle or distilled water and that is a perfect option for fresh water. Now salt water I recommend and it's pretty much the only thing you should use for salt water is Instant Ocean. You can buy it online at your pet store. Instant Ocean. Perfect for salt water and, you, and it's like the best thing for your hermit crab. Alright, number four, sponges. Sponges are really bad for your hermit crabs, and this one I'm stressing a lot. Do not get sponges. They will grow. People put them in their water bowls to um, put to give more humidity. If you want more humidity, then buy moss. Moss is a really simple solution, and it doesn't grow bacteria. Also, they put moss. I mean, they put sponges in their water dishes so they can climb out of the dishes. If you want your hermit crab to climb out, then just put rocks. That doesn't grow bacteria at all, and it's really safe. Just, and they can climb, and it looks more natural. See, there's a rock, there's some pebbles, and this is a very nice ramp I made using that uh, rock. And it's deep enough over here for my largest hermit crab to submerge in, and it's easy for my smallest hermit crab to get out of. So that's why you shouldn't use sponges. All right, moving on to number four. Five. This is the reason that most kids get hermit crabs and c encourage their parents to get them hermit crabs. They just see their painted shells at the pet store and see Spider-Man walking around, but they just get their hermit crabs because they have a nice shell and they see Spider-Man walking around. I'm like, really? Just because they have a shell and a, their favorite character on that shell doesn't mean you should buy them. Hermit crabs need respect and they need a lot of care. Do not get a hermit crab as your first pet for your kid. It's a very bad decision and it will die soon enough. And painted shells are toxic for everything. It's bad for your 
child and it is bad for a hermit crab because hermit crabs do eat their shells for calcium sometimes and they really enjoy eating their shells. So if they're eating that paint with their shell, then that's going to be a problem. Alright, our next thing that is really bad for hermit crabs is store-bought food. And for an example, I have this. I bought this when I first started hermit crabbing and I've never got rid of it because I thought I would use it in a video like this for an example one day. And it turns out I am using this. So this is really bad for hermit crabs because just look at this. This is all the ingredients and my camera is not focusing, right? Well anyways, this is all the ingredients and that's a very long list. It says dried shrimp, dried real worms. The first couple things are good, but then there are things that I can't even pronounce. And that is just a bunch of pres preservatives and chemicals that your hermit crab is consuming. And plus pellets are really bad for your hermit crabs because they can't even digest it or like really bite it and get it in their mouth. So that's why you shouldn't buy store-bought food. Number seven, painted or dyed decor. As you can see, everything in my hermit crab tank is very natural. I have nothing painted, and it is very healthy because there's nothing painted. My hermit crabs are doing fine. You want natural things, like this choy wood. Um, the pet stores sell painted choy wood that's like half the side, and they can't even climb. Go on eBay or online, just find 12 inches of choy wood, and it goes. it's really long, and it's really healthy and they last a long time or just get sticks from outside boil them or put them in the oven for a couple minutes and you will get a cleaned wood and your hermit crabs like my hermit crab turbo right now is enjoying that piece of wood right there and my hermit crabs like gizmo climb up on these short woods all right number eight mineral blocks or vacation food vacation food if you're going on vacation, ask a family member, ask someone at a pet store to take care of your hermit crab, ask your friend, ask anyone, but do not put mineral food or mineral blocks or vacation food. Or take your hermit crabs with you on vacation. But I don't rec really recommend that. So just find something else or someone else to care for your hermit crabs. Do not buy mineral blocks because they're full of chemicals and just things you do not want your hermit crabs to eat. Alright, number nine. Having one crab is a very stressful and lonely situation for your crab. Having one, hermit crabs travel in millions in the wild. So give them lots of friends and family in their, her, in their tank so they can have lots of friends and communicate. It's what hermit crabs do. Alright, number 10. Having dark sections in your hermit crab tank. Leaving your water bowls or food bowl in the dark is very damaging it can grow mold because you're supposed to have a very humid tank at all times in your tank so if it's humid and dark at the same time that's going to grow mold and you don't want mold in your tank because it can kill your hermit crabs so do not have dark spaces and do not leave your hermit crabs food or water in the dark so that's why you should have a heat lamp and i have an led lamp right there that provides light to the bottom half floor Alright, so that was the top 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a collaboration with Emma Linder. I will try to link her video and channel in the description. Thanks so much for watching this video. And please take these facts seriously because these temp top 10 things are very dangerous for your hermit crabs. Alright guys, bye!